You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Let us praise the Lord for this new day. Once again, we are challenged in today's Gospel with this hard saying, to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. For it is in this way, Jesus says, that we may be considered children of our Heavenly Father. How many of us can honestly say that it is easy to love our enemies, especially the toxic people who continually hurt us? Maybe some of us can say that it is still easier to pray for those who persecute us, those who backbite us, bully us, and those who betray us. Perhaps with Jesus, we can say, Please forgive them, Lord they do not know exactly the truth of the matter, and therefore they do not know what they are saying, what they are doing. Yes, probably we can do this especially if you are acutely aware of our innocence, but to love them is another story. It is easy to verbalize it, but quite impossible to actually live it. So, How can we really love our enemies in practice? Spiritual writers are there to suggest ways and means. Again, it is not easy or it is not that easy to put them into practice. But I believe that if we anchor ourselves on the Word of God, the Holy Spirit will be our guide and our strength. What did St. Paul say about love? That love is patient. We beg God to give us patience, to be patient with ourselves, knowing how easily we give up when our efforts fail. We also need patience in dealing with stone-hearted people who may not even respond to our show of respect for them as persons. If God is with us, We can always hang on to our belief that it is God who will work it out in His own good time. St. Paul also said, Love is kind. An offensive display of self-importance beats our eyes. Respond with kindness. For like goodness, kindness begets kindness too. One spiritual writer also suggests that To love our enemies means forgiving and praying for those who have wronged us and making the first move even if you are not in the wrong. Lord Jesus, heal us of the prejudices and biases that make us see people in terms of who are with us and who are against us. Amen. 
Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.